Hello ladies and gents, today I'm going to show you a couple of cow pens and a glass silage bunker. Oh yes! Hello ladies and gents, nice to uh, see you. Now I've got a question first of all, if anybody is playing on the 64x map, I know it's had quite a bit of interest, so some of you may. Now I've had a texture issue. I tried to make this video on that map because I wanted a coat pen. Um, and I put down some, uh, some chaff in a silage bunker. And this is what happened. This is what's happening with my chaff on here. So I'm going to use another map. corn isn't it that's uh that's more a corn not a chaff but as you can see it actually says chaff in the bunker so if you're playing on the 64 times map and you've experienced any texture issues like that uh, please let me know so i know it's not me <laughs> thanks very much right let's crack on with this so what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to show you first a bunker, a silage bunker. You may say, what's so great about that? Well, I'm going to show you. And while the silage is cooking, uh, we'll have a look at a couple of cow pastures, pens, sheds. So I'm going to place this silage bunker down here, as you can see, uh, maybe by the shop. I'm on, I'm on no man's land, but uh, it's been flattened by somebody. So... Let's, let's move away a little bit. There we go. So there is uh, the glass silage bunker. Look at that. I stood inside where I put it. So the, these lights have been left top and bottom, uh, which help as a guide. This mod is by Bex Modding, and I would like to thank her very, very much for letting me show this mod off first yeah and we've got some lights same at the other end lights on the walls so at least you've got a pretty darn good look at things now i'm going to get myself an oversized uh, tipper and uh, we're going to have a go at filling this uh, and hopefully <laughs> we'll not have the same problems as we did on the 64 times map
we're just leaving quarter past 11. I was trying to keep it inside. Uh, as you can see, we've got 10 million in the bunker. Compacted at 100%. And uh, with plenty of room. Plenty of room. So it's not poking over the top of the bunker, that sort of thing. There's plenty of bunkers that uh, it pokes over the top. So there we go. It's reinforced glass, Richard uh, Richard Dower, you were asking. Uh, would it break? Um, it shouldn't do. It's reinforced, I'm, I'm told. There we go. So it's quarter past 11. We'll see how long this takes. I don't know, not much poking out at this end. Done rather well though, I think. Pretty much 10 million in there. Lovely jubbly. Right. What I'll do now is we'll place one of these cow pens. Now, these cow pens do need the global company mod because they have auto feeding systems in them that run with the global company mod. Right, so we're back in animal pens and this GEA1 I know is on the mod hub. It's for PC and Mac. Just loving a look who it's by. It's by a few people. So we've got LS Mod Company, DS, Agri Service, Caster, Kevin, K98, I think it is, and Soft H, who make this one. So we'll, this is the first one. We'll use this one first. Now these will, they don't swivel round, they turn round on an axis like they're doing, as you can see, <coughs> because um, the feeding system feeds into it. Right, I'm going to put this one down, just here. Yeah, that's tickety-boo. And we'll buy this one. Because that's that's what I'm like. Very similar, very similar in how they work. And we'll put this one just about there, I think. So you can see them both. Now the feeding systems you will find in the global company section. There we go. So the this feeding system, can you see, has the track on it and stuff. Now, let me spin round a little bit that way. I can get it properly lined up. There are marks on the floor. Now you can see, just where I've got the shed here, there's some marks. That's your milk spawn point. This one here is your water. And then, can you see these marks here on the floor? One, two. And just over near the building, there's some more. So what we're going to do is line this up. If I can stop messing about like a lunatic. Right. Now. That should be about right. Would have put it there anyway. Boom. There we go. So as you can see, it's settled for the animal pen extension anyway. Um, now this would just be the shed without this feeding system if you don't want to use it. And... Um, looks like the feed trough if you want to do it manually in here sorry here is where you buy your cows and here's your straw now I think this takes bales bales are the blower I don't think it takes loose I'll, I'll have to try 
Does this open? Yes, it does. Wonderful. So, as you can see now, these... I'll see how good my lining up was. That's looking pretty damn good to me. Against the wall. And against these posts. It's a very well, well put together mod, really. Yep. So, they're all lined up. I must have got it pretty damn close. And in here we have the feeding systems and I think straw in this one, it's hay in this one, and silage in the middle one. And this is the feeding system. Woohoo! Now, the feeding system you can set it off. So this is time, so if it's one in the morning, you Whoops, let's activate it there. One in the morning. If you if you don't want it to feed at that time, you can knock it off. Um, and it's a 24 hour clock. And these, so you can have a feed time four times a day if you wish. I'm not sure what this is. More need feeding. I'm not sure on this yet. Uh, how much do you want to put in each trip? It goes up to 140,000 litres. Two, four. So it goes up like that in increments. Well, oh, that's a good word, increments, isn't it? And then you can change your mix. So, uh, and you can see mixing ratio must be 100%. So if I've gone to say 20% there I've got to bring this down to 50 and there we go so I could have this at say 25 because I've got an absolute ton of straw um, and we'll put that at 25 so there is your mix for there this will tell you how much is in the hoppers I've just shown you. And this keeps a track of what you're using. So you can adjust it. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so that's the GEA system. Now we'll look at the Triolet system. This here is where you buy your cows. Uh, the door's all open. I thought they did. Should there we go. So it looks like you can feed inside if you don't want the feeding system. These three windows are for your feeding system. Close that manure. Feeding system goes here. That's the other end. And this is your straw point. And there's your slurry. And it looks pretty much like it's set up for the manure system. Right, let's buy this feeding system and put it through them windows. So back in the global company, buy this, let's just uh, move around a little bit so I can get this right. Gosh, I'm messing about there aren't I? Right, let's try and get this pretty cock on. So I did pretty alright with the last one. There, there, there I'm happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that I reckon. <clears throat> oh 
come on, open up. So we have a similar sort. Data systems. Can I everything's opening? There we go, trickety boo. And inside, come on, blimey, as I run into the wall. There we go. We now have this feeding system set up. Right. Let's go and get a little bit of feed. Ooh, look at that. Not brought that road out far enough, have I? milling machine is now a little bit wider uh, it does have a capacity of oh I can't remember let's have a look at it in the shop but it will fit wheel loader it will fit front loader it will fit telehandler and it will fit a three point hitch and you don't even have to choose or change anything so here we are, we're in the miscellaneous section of the shop. And you've got the milling machine, 5,000. There you go, you don't have to change anything apart from the colour if you wish. So if I wanted that, say orange, and the design colour is actually the blades. Doesn't say how much it holds, but it it does have. I don't know if it's a million or something. Um, or it might even be ten million to uh, to clear one of these bunkers. But uh, still having a little play around with this, so I'm hoping it works for me. Well, ladies and gents, it's uh, coming up to quarter past three, and fermenting is nearly done. So, oh, what we're we looking at? Four hours, four hours, and uh, we'll have fermented 10 million litres. That's that's not bad going, I don't reckon. Let's just uh, speed up time a little bit. It was 17 minutes past, wasn't it, when we uh, when we did it? There we go. So it's four hours. That's not bad. Oh, I think we'll take a look at uh, at night, shall we? So, ladies and gents, you can see at night it's uh, lit up with these lights along the top and bottom. Lights on the end. Now, obviously, you can put extra lights in if you wish. But there you go. So that's it at night. Right, let's get these cows fed. So I'm about to give this a go. I've not used it before. Now you can get a better angle using this uh, <clears throat> than the three-point hitch. So that's why I put it on here. Now you 
you can tow a trailer, but I've just been having a look for trailers, and, um, well, I'll be honest, <coughs> I don't think I've got a pin connecting trailer. I've only put a few mods in this uh, demonstration. Okay, we've got that working. Let's have a go with this. Watch, kind of eating through that quite well. And the cover's going back on the bunker. Absolutely lovely jubbly. Oh, look at that. Pick that chaffle. Bloody hell. Blood and stomach pills. Let's get rid of that chaff and that I don't make that mistake again. <coughs> so let's fire that in this bin over here. We don't want that's it. Yeah. We want silage. bit we'll go along here or maybe up a little bit I don't know I have got then it's a matter of finding the angle I think there we go so as you can see this sucks up um, silage <coughs> and chaff and uh, grass and things quite well even backwards hope I don't scratch that glass so I'm thinking now this milling machine needs a little bit more tweaking I am told so this is not available at the moment but the bunker is if you see Bex at the office discord same with all the mods um, the dudes uh, harvesters the treks I think the tracks is finished, I'm not too sure. <coughs> As a compactor. So <coughs> if you have to do any mods like this, just uh, just ask her anyway. She can always say no, can't she? She can always say no. There we go. One glass bunker, 10 million capacity. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I was filling the bunker, I did try and go down the sides quite quite a lot, and uh, there was no snagging, no getting caught on the uh, bunker walls, which does often occur for some people. Classy smooth, classy smooth. So that could save a lot of battling. Ah, I think that'll do. And uh, it's empty, there we go. It's one clean glass bunker. Alright, let's go and feed these cows. It's 7.45, so in 15 minutes, if I want it at, say, 8 o'clock, we'll go back, 8 o'clock, right, quantity, we'll give them 10,000 litres, 
we're going to keep it at that mix. All right. Uh, I don't know. Say four hours later. All right. Well, so we'll feed them midday. Let's go back. Oh, it should be every six hours, shouldn't it? Really ish. Uh, so call it two o'clock. We'll have the same again. Activate. There we go. And that one will be two in the morning. Oops, where have I gone that? Way. There we go, two in the morning. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if I speed time up a little bit, you, you will see it. So when it comes to 8 o'clock, slow that down. There's your straw going in. Silage. And then your hay. It will come back and give it a mix, this one. So we'd better move out of the way, shall we? I will come back here. Onto this little little plug in, boom, and it's getting a mix. Why am I up in the air? Get down. And then it will go along and feed the cows. Like thus. So you, you only have to come and feed, probably top these up whenever, once a week instead of once every day or so. And it does all the mixing for you. There you go, that will now go back. There we go. Now we can always check on the animals here. So we've got the GEA stall. We know that 10,000 is not going very far. So, <laughs> so what? What we'll have to do is up the mixture on the next on the next time round. We've not got so many cows in the next one, All right? So, uh, so there we go. Right, let's try this one. Hello, cows. How are you? While well, we're here, we'll give you some water, eh? Oh, look at that. You've got your, your bad piercing you've got there. <laughs> right. Well, we'll come into this one. What time is it? 8.04. So we'll set it at 9. For the... Oh, gotta click the thing. So I'll set this for 9 a.m. I've done it again. Okay, we'll put that there. Put this for uh, 12, um, whatever. 2, 3, sorry. Okay, let's put this up to 25. That one's down. 
to 25 and this one down to 50 there we go and quantity we'll get these we'll a bit more All right so we're gonna have 20,000 liters each feed Okay, let's speed the time up to 9 o'clock. Now this one just comes around on a loop. Doesn't go backwards and forwards like the other one. That's pretty much the only difference. And uh, it doesn't have to come back because this has its own mixer in it. There we go. It's coming, it's coming ladies. So I'm hoping this is a bit more healthier because um, I've got less cows and more feed. So this should uh, do well. So this one is the triolet. What was the same in French? Le triolet. Because I speak in my outrageous sexy French accent. I can't, I can't speak too long like that, I'm afraid. Um, too many people get a bit damp in the old Tufty Club. And uh, we don't want all that excitement, do we? Now this will just go along there and stop till the next feeding time. You could just feed them once a day if you wished. It's entirely up to you. So there's the trial I star. There you go, that, that looks a little bit better than that one, doesn't it? So there we go. Their feed is, is up. So then you can adjust it each day, <coughs> up or down, depending how you want to go. Right, ladies and gents, showing you quite a few mods today. Uh, these two cow pads and uh, quite a few by Becks over there. All that bit of machinery and this beautiful, beautiful glass bunker. I do like it. I do like the fact I'm not getting snagged on the walls, to be quite honest. Yes. Right, ladies and gents, I hope you like this video. Uh, even if you don't like the mods, I hope you like the video. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be very, very much appreciated. So, oh my God, I fell on the back of the truck. So until next time, everybody, stay safe. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.